and you know all all an interested person mm -hmm. even even perhaps a gastroenterologist needs to do is to bring up the PubMed uh, yes. site from the National Institutes yes. of Health yes. and put in Paratuberculosis. Yes. And up will come, you know, a list of over 2,000 scientific publications in the scientific literature, mm. you know, and here's the first one says visualization of Mycobacterium avium. Yeah. That's a close relative of paratuberculosis yes. in Crohn's dis disease yeah. tissue. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, here is, um, for example, um, our paper on the modern vaccine we've made mm -hmm. against Crohn's disease. Yeah. And then, mm -hmm. you know, here you have another paper, mm -hmm. and it's entitled the evidence for mycobacterium paratuberculosis in Crohn's yeah. disease. So you can go back to 2,000 of those and there is a huge weight. Allow me a question, Doctor, yeah. about this. Yeah. Um, I, is this book met an official oh, Lord, something? Yes. Oh, yes. Can we compare it with, for instance, The Lancet? Oh, Lord, yes. I told you in an occasion, um, the reply I had was very heavy in a congress mm. I had in the south of mm. Spain, mm. in which they said there is nothing officially published about Mycobacteria avium subspecies paratuberculosis. I said, listen, you are not informed. I have here the documentation, the first one who Dr. Taylor mm. gave me. Mm. I gave it to the mm. president of the Andalusian uh, Society yes. of Pathologists mm. and uh, uh, asked him and uh, so I had a, le let's say, more or less uh, discussion there, mm. which encouraged me just to arrive to this. I want to demonstrate uh, that this is not a simple football uh, journal uh, no, no. Uh, uh, paper. Yeah, it's a, it's an official one. No. Oh, this is it's a government. It's paper. it's it's more than official. It is the worldwide repository uh -huh. for publications in the biological and other yeah, sciences yeah. and th this is the scientific or much of the record of scientific uh, activities of humans on earth. Is there, a, is, uh, there a, is, there a, is there also a reason for instance why some articles did not have been accepted for instance by some publisher? Uh, let's well, say is it possible that Lancet said no I don't want to publish that because uh, uh, don't take it for serious or something like that. My question is, who are the people who are mm, taking that determination, that decision, not to publish something? Well, the, uh, the system that most scientific journals e use um, has been the same for a long time. Yeah. And that is, a researcher you know, prepares a paper or a manuscript, yeah. submits it to the journal. Mm -hmm. um, the journal editors usually make a preliminary examination of yeah. it. You know, if a paper, a publication like The Lancet, for example, um, you know, they're receiving thousands of publications, yeah. then obviously they can't publish them all. So uh -huh. they have to, uh, re you know, pick the ones that yeah. they think um, are need to go out to yeah. be reviewed. Uh -huh. And from those smaller quantity, they're sent out to uh, other researchers and scientists and doctors yes, working yes. in the field yeah. and they submit a, a written report. Yes. The process is called peer review. Yeah. The review by your equals and your yes. contemporaries. Mm -hmm. And then um, there will be another meeting of the editors, for example, at which they yeah. will receive this information yeah. and then they will decide, um, they will send you the criticisms yes. of the uh, paper and you will normally have a chance to respond. Uh -huh. Occasionally, they will say, well, we won't publish it, or we will publish it. Mm. So this process is the peer review process. And the answer to the question, you know, who decides, for example, to reject a paper, yes. it, it means this process. Uh -huh. It's the editors working together with uh, advice from independent scientists. And these scientists, if they cannot make themselves a test and have the proof of what you are saying, then 
they simply say we don't have the 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 proof so we are not publishing it or is it like that or not um yes but what you do like uh, when something happens and all mm -hmm. scientists or at least most mm -hmm. <laughs> certainly me you know get their publications rejected yeah. from time to time uh -huh. it's part of the process uh -huh. and you simply um you know redo the manuscript and submit it to another journal there are many okay. different journals yeah and um uh so that it's uh although one journal you know can reject it and that decision may be wrong um it can you've got plenty of other opportunities in any in any case it's a bit uh, uh, let's say uh, this this um how do would i say <coughs> we are a little bit we are a little bit confused about what is going on. We have uh, the impression that there is a certain world which doesn't want uh, this to go forward, yeah. and there is another world which is going forward. That is uh, true. And, that and, is true. and the, 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 the world which is not wanting to come forward with, with this in type of investigations, perhaps is interested in to continue their own uh, uh, things, their own research, their own uh, medicines and so on. Uh, that and, is and, certainly uh, the case. And, but and, and they are at the same time judging the ones who are working with very small funds. It's, it's, it's even more is complex that? than yeah? <coughs> excuse me, it's even more complex than that. Sometimes uh, you know, rejections happen just on the basis of uh, not wishing to know about it. One of the, these are, are two cultures of map from humans with Crohn's disease. Yes. Um, they have been incubated for about six months. Mm -hmm. yes. And these are cultures that have been able to be established in the lab. Yeah. They're both put up in identical media. Yes. And they've both been incubated for an identical time. Yeah. And yet they look different. Yes. This one here, as everybody can see, has got a smaller number yeah. of larger yes. clumps. Yes. And here a larger number yeah. of smaller, smaller clumps. Yeah. And if you take a little bit out yes. of each of these yeah. and put them in two new tubes yes. and grow them exactly the yeah. same way, in six months' time yes. you will still see the, the difference. differences between oh, yeah. them. The what's yes. causing the smaller mm. number of large clumps yeah. and the larger number of small clumps mm. is the way in which the genes in these two map bugs are working. Here they are producing more of the sticky substance mm -hmm. that makes them grow in clumps and here less. So that it would be wrong to think that MAP is just one single type of organism. The types in animals are substantially different from the types in humans and what this shows is the types in humans and the types in humans also can differ from one another. So what do you think is going on as to the World Health Organization? Uh, about uh, all this is to say what are they exactly doing or are they aware that something has to be done with this constant in infection of, of map in the world? I think the simple answer to that is no. Mm -hmm. uh, to my knowledge they're not doing anything. Why this tremendous reluctancy to, to investigate people on map is to say if we are in our country or in other countries and we go simply to a hospital, uh, they are reluctant to uh, do an analysis if we ask them, can you please analyze me on MAP? MAP is difficult to detect. At present, the techniques that work reliably are confined to research laboratories like ours and others in, in Europe and, and the United States.